Emerging Voices to me is an opportunity I wish I had had coming up. Quite frankly, it is the most amazing opportunity. It's hard work, it's rewrites. Explore writing in a way that you haven't explored it before. Life-changing, affirming. Accountability. Community. I just feel fearless. It is a sustained developing program that allows the writers to absorb that, to uh, come into their own, if you will, to develop over a year, to unfold. I was struck by sudden death while shopping for the perfect shade of white. My partner James and I had chosen an interior paint once before, and our Manhattan apartment ended up with all the warmth. I have more eyes on my writing in the LA community, the, the literary community, people whose work I really respect with eyes and opinions about my progress. And uh, that's amazing. And lying there, motionless, devoid of smell or sounds, I became part of that apartment, an inanimate object as common as the coffee table or the drawers of our machine. Emerging Voices to me means reading across genres, learning things I never would have learned in books I never would have picked up if it hadn't been for the fellowship. Now I have lifelong connections with people who care about writing and books and literature and poetry as much as I do. Good times I'll never witness and inside jokes that'll be shared when we return back to school come September. This is all familiar territory Reminders of my life at Somerset before Serena and Camille. Emerging Voices to me is the opportunity to get to the truth of my writing. I've been a writer all my life, but I felt like this was the opportunity to like stop being afraid and just write the truth. Mom kicked water at me, click. I kicked water at her, click. Whatever she did, Click. I did. Click. Emerging Voices is an opportunity to dream big and to work hard. The fellowship has given me a clear idea of what my book will look like. It's given me an opportunity to see the structure and the chapters and to work towards getting that book written. Loaded sea anemones spew forth bits of half-digested crab. Dark power lines laser through the blue sky. The train slows down again and stops. A beautiful hippie tosses her massive backpack on the luggage rack above, sits down. Sharing and this, uh, this thing with other people is, has been the part of the fellowship that I feel like has been the most profound and, and changed me, I think given me some self-confidence. Every week I have something that I could go to where I'd see people that I feel close to. I feel like we share something that I don't share with other people in the real world. When we were girls, before we were aunties, the state split us up from each other the way bark is split for sap. Our mother was not well. Unfit, we were sent into other homes with other mothers and other girls to call sister. Unfit, we fought. The it is community. Um, it's a chance to have my work in the world. It's a, it's the opportunity to know that what I'm writing matters. Um, and since becoming an Emerging Voices Fellow, I understand that uh, while I have that drive, it just takes more. That that there are going to be more rewrites. That there are going to be more drafts, and that I need to do that work in order to put forth the best book possible. My name is Kima Jones. Terrence Flynn. My name is Lillian Rivera. Chris Aaron Canary. My name is Tommy Moore. L. Brooks, 2013 Emerging Voices Fellow.